Hey guys, how's it going? On today's video, we're gonna be going over a bunch of different racks that you can swap into your E30, E36, and E46. These have all been rebuilt by J&J &J Axle Supply down in Santa Ana, California. You can send yours in for rebuild. You can buy one and have a core and send the core in, or they can source you one and rebuild it. So go ahead um, and give them a shout. I'll put their Instagram right here. So what we have is a stock E30 up front here, which is four turns lock to lock. Then we have a Z3 rack, which is 2.7 turns lock to lock. We have a 95 M3 rack, which is specific, three turns lock to lock. We have a 96 plus rack, which is 3.2 turns lock to lock. We have an E46 purple tag, which is three turns lock to lock. We have an E46 yellow tag or the 712 rack which is also three turns lock to lock and then we have a z4 rack which all of these are powered um, as you can see all the ports on the side the z4 rack is the only non-powered rack we have here and that is three turns lock to lock this video is going to be mostly information about all the racks and we'll go ahead and put them on the car and do a quick t uh, test back and forth lock to lock to verify, I will have another video coming out. It's gonna be a while, but I'm gonna go through and test out and do driving videos of each one of these racks. These are all upgrade racks. Besides the E31 up front, these are all upgrades. It's that you can do in an E30, E36, and E46 chassis. These are the most typical racks people swap to. So that's why there's not just a normal uh, E36 rack or a normal uh, E46 M3 rack, which I'll go into in a second. But these are all upgrade racks rather than just stock racks that we'll be going over today. I'm going to start with the E30 rack and we'll go ahead and make our way through with some more information and we'll go ahead and install on the car. All the information in this video I found on forums and obviously I'll go through and test the racks in the video, but please do your own research. Um, if there is something that I said incorrectly, please put it down in the comments and I'll be happy to, to address it. Starting with the front one here, again, it's a stock E30 rack, which is four turns lock to lock, uh, which is gonna be the worst rack on this list. All of these racks have uh, E36 inner tie rods. So uh, E30 typically has a female style inner tie rod so that the outer tie rod screws into it. Whereas the E36 tie rod is male style, and the outer tie rod screws over it. So I had this swapped out because I will be putting it with my SLR kit and that requires a uh, E36 inner. I have the car off the ground and the SLR kit not installed so we can get a base measurement of the rack going from left to right. Once it's actually installed with the SLR kit, because of the roll center adjustment, it does hit before it gets all the way to the full turn lock to lock. So it's more I'm looking for based on feel between the different racks rather than uh, the lock to lock with it fully installed. Just because there should be a feel difference between the E46 yellow and the E46 purple, which you'll be able to feel. You won't have the full weight of the motor, obviously, because there's no motor in it, but you will have the feeling of the tires on the ground going back and forth uh, to feel the differences between, between all the racks. Rack is turned all the way to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of tape to signify the top of it so that we just have an idea of where everything is just so I don't have to reset the steering wheel every time. So going to the right, that's one turn, that's two turns, that's three turns, and that's just barely under four. Let's go ahead, put the car on the ground. And then we have our Z3 rack behind it, which is 2.7 turns lock to lock. Um, it's a linear rack. Let's go. One, two, three, and it was here. So there you go, 2827. Um, some people say it's 28, some people say 27. Let's say it's closer to 2.8, but still 
very short rack compared to the 30. So it's definitely uh, lighter just in the center uh, than the E30 rack, but it's, it's definitely a, it's a lot heavier of a, uh, a feeling right away to turn once you get past going this way. Once you get past there, it's, it's a, a lot more of a tug to really get it to go. So after the Z3 rack, we have the 95s. Uh, M3 rack, which is specific, which is three turns lock to lock. It's progressive and it's slower in the center than it is for the 96 plus rack, although the lock to lock is shorter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just over three. Definitely has a nice sweet spot in the middle that's nice and loose. Um, but, and I'd say it starts here to get a little tough compared to the, the Z3 rack. I'd say it's a little bit lighter, um, but then again, the 95 M3 rack is the least uh, preferred uh, among most of the racks. If you were to, you know, search the forums or ask in the groups, but you know, some people love it, some people hate it. So the 96 M3 rack, the 96 plus, is 3.2 turns lock to lock. It's progressive and it's slower in the middle and it's faster when turning. It also comes in a Z3M. So E36, 96 to 99, and Z3M, uh, 98 to 2002. One, two, three, and says 3.2, maybe 3.25, just a little past uh, what the 95 was. Pretty similar feel to the 95 rack. I would say it feels a little bit lighter overall the 95 was super light in the center, uh, but this feels more light just overall. Um, it's still lighter than the Z3 rack, which is still definitely the heaviest. All right, there's a lot of information on the E46 racks. Both racks are three turns for the purple and the yellow are both three turns lock to lock. The yellow tag rack uses a different torsion bar than the purple tag rack. Both the ratios, I don't have ratios for everything, but both the ratios are 13 to seven to one. And then just a little information about the, the M3 rack, which is 3.2 turns lock to lock, which is a green tag rack. And then there's also a blue tag rack, which is the CSL rack, which is heavier um, and slightly uh, shorter turns than the M3 rack. One, two, three, just over three. I can already tell on the heavier side all the way around, I'd still say the Z3 is heavier, uh, but they're definitely heavier than the E36 racks. And it's a, it's a very, the weight is the, the whole time, it's not heavier at one point than the other. Um, I'd say the Z3 had a little bit of a sweet spot in the middle and then it got super heavy uh, where this, yes, it gets heavy on uh, actually turning the wheel hard past, but it's not bad uh, like the other one was. One, two, three. Just like the purple tag, same ratio. Uh, I mean, it feels very similar, obviously. I think it feels a little bit heavier than the purple rack. The purple rack was much smoother all the way through. I, and I feel like the yellow tag is just a little stiffer kind of everywhere. Um, again, not as stiff as the C3 though. So it'll be very interesting uh, 
to see if there's a more of a difference actually driving with the two and going corner to corner, but they feel pretty close to, to the same. And again, the only difference is that torsion bar, uh, supposedly. And then lastly, we have the Z4 rack, which again is non-powered as the Z4 had the power assist in the steering column. And that is three turns lock to lock. One, two, three. Exactly, three turns lock to lock. It's definitely lighter all the way around. I would say it's not as light as the M3 rack, like in the middle, but it's a lot lighter than the, the E46 racks going back and forth. No sweet spot or anything, just nice and even all the way around. So I'm definitely excited to uh, try this rack out on the street. That's gonna be the end of today's video. I now have the fun, whoop, I now have the fun job of putting each and every one of these in while there is a motor in so that we can test every single one of them. I'll probably do a driving video of each and then I'll release them as I go through them. I'm hoping to do, once I get the car running, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit, hoping to do at least one a week, some one or two a week uh, test-wise so I can get these over kind of quickly. So I'll have individual driving videos with each rack uh, and then I'll have a uh, comparison at the end or I'll have another video doing a full comparison going through the details of each and what I liked and what I didn't like and what you can expect when you swap your rack. So if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll go ahead and answer them. I do have the E30 rack, the rebuilt E30 rack is available and I have a non-rebuilt uh, Z4 rack that I can also have rebuilt if needed. So if you're interested in those, hit me up on Instagram at the mass driver or uh, at Rage of Parts and I can get that taken care of. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.